I want to use Excel to illustrate a strategy, an option strategy known as a straddle. Now, when you buy an option, oftentimes you're betting on the direction the stock price will move. When you buy a call option, you're betting that the stock price will go up. So buying a call gives you the right but not the obligation to buy at the exercise price. So here I'm going to say that exercise price is 20 and the premium you pay for this privilege is $3. So here's the illustration of what a long call option payoff looks like at, expira at the expiration of the option. You start $2 in the hole and if the price is below the exercise price here of 20 you simply don't use it, right? This gives you the right to buy at 20 and if the price happens to be, for example, 16, there's no reason to buy it at 20, just go into the marketplace and buy it at 16. Now if the price shoots up to say 28, being able to buy at 20 is really valuable. You can buy at 20, you can sell it at 28, the market price, that makes you $8 minus the $3 premium you paid, so you make five dollars on this transaction. Likewise, you engage or you buy a put option because you think the price is going to fall. A put gives you the right but not the obligation to sell at the exercise price. So here I have the same exercise price of 20. I'm going to use a different premium of two dollars. So let me illustrate that right here by looking at the long put. Now get rid of the long call and then at the end of this video I'll show you how you can draw these graphs. So the put option looks like this, the long put. Here you're going to start two dollars in the hole because you paid two dollars for this privilege to be able to sell at 20. If the price is above 20, say it's uh, 24, why would you sell at 20 when you can go into the marketplace and sell it for 24? Now suppose the price falls to let's say 8. Now it costs eight dollars to buy it. You can sell it at 20, so there you make twelve dollars minus the two dollar premium, so you make a profit of ten dollars. Right? So you buy a put when you think the price is likely to go down, you buy a call when you think it's going to go up. But what if it's the case that you think the price is going to make a big move, but you don't know in which direction? Here's where you can engage in a long straddle. You use it when you expect price to move a lot, but you don't know in which direction. So what do you do? You buy a put and a call with the same exercise price. Why might this be the case? Suppose there's a small pharmaceutical company and they've bet all their resources on a new cancer therapy. If it receives FDA approval, it's going to be a billion dollar drug, a multi-billion dollar drug, and the stock price is going to shoot up. On the other hand, this is a small company and they've bet all their resources on this one um, therapy. If it does not receive FDA approval, the company is likely to be bankrupt and the stock will be worthless. And you don't really know in which direction that's going to happen. So what do you do? You buy a put and a call option. So in Excel, I've put the payoff pictures here. The payoff for a long call, remember, because you don't have an obligation, it's the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price, or zero. And I've put in the formulas here. B7 happens to be where the stock price is. Um, C4 happens to be where the exercise price is. And I put the dollar sign there so I could copy it down and C3 is the premium. Likewise, um, the payoff for a long put position is going to be the exercise price, which is in E4, minus the stock price in B7, or zero, minus, again, the premium that's paid here. So what does this look like? Well, what you're basically doing, you can just add these two together. Remember, the beauty of an option is and you can see it here on the long put, is that when it's beneficial to do so, you use it. When it's not, you simply lose the premium. You just throw it away. So here, you can add across. So 
the payoff for the straddle is simply what's in cell C7 plus what's in cell D7. And I just copied the formula down. So you can see here at very low prices, the put has value, you throw the call away. When the price goes way up, what happens? You use the call option, you throw the put away. So what does that payoff picture look like? Okay, so let's just illustrate that. We looked at the long call, we looked at the long put. Here's what the straddle looks like. So on this side, you'd use the put and throw the call away. Over here, you'd use the call and throw the put away. You're going to start $5 in the hole because you paid $3 for the call and $2 for the put. So the price has to move $5 in either direction for you to make money. So the price has to be, the break even here would be $25 on the upside. But if it gets above $25, you start making money. On the downside, the price has to fall below 15 for you to start making money. So this is a great strategy when you think things are going, something big is going to happen, you just don't happen to know what that will be. So how do you draw this graph here? Well, you draw this graph by highlighting these cells, and then you can go to Insert, and for example, I like recommended graphs, and they give you a bunch of different choices, and they draw them different ways. All right, this happens to be the correct one. I'm not going to click OK because I've already drawn it here. They have you know bar charts and things like that, but you can create that. And then again, as I as I just done, you can also use this filtering. Let me try that again. This filtering to look at you know different different parts of it. Here I'm going to just look at the I'm going to look at the call and the put, right? So this is the put and this is the call and actually the straddle winds up looking kind of like this, right? It's not exactly this. But this is a good way I think to illustrate and to understand the payoffs for different kinds of option strategies. You know, the beauty in Excel is that you can you know, copy formulas down, and you can also change the premiums or you could change the exercise prices. So in the case of the straddle, you use the same exercise prices, but there are other strategies where you'll use different exercise prices. So I hope this helps you to understand um, how to use or how to use Excel to better understand a straddle.